Many mistakenly think that all all-wheel drive systems were created equal, while well, nothing could be further from the truth. In the car world, they fall into one of two groups. They are either reactive or they are proactive. Typically, the reactive systems must lose grip to engage the all-wheel drive side, which instills a degree of instability. In a slip-first, grip-later system, the problem is timing. Rather than coming to the rescue and gathering things up seamlessly, the sudden transfer of torque can actually upset the vehicle's balance. The Q7, for example, uses a torsion center differential to send 40% of the power forward and 60% to the rear wheels. The latest version of Quattro will debut in the A4 all-road. It is again proactive, but it uses two clutches to control the flow of power. The system monitors everything from the throttle and steering to the cornering forces up to 100 times a second to determine the best possible power split. When all-wheel drive is not needed, both clutches open, which improves fuel economy. The better systems like Audi's Quattro really do look after things in real time, which gives you a significant advantage. So there you have it. When all-wheel drive is done properly, it's a huge boon to both the car and the driver.